Hello everyone and welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the color of a background in Photoshop. This Photoshop tutorial will show you an advanced technique but don't worry if you are a beginner. This is a step by step tutorial and I'll go slow so that you can follow along no matter what your experience level. I'm using one of the latest version of Photoshop which is Photoshop CC but you could still follow along with Photoshop CS6. I will mention any difference in the video. Okay, let's get started. This is the image we will work with in this video. Our model is up against a grey background and what we're gonna do is change the background color to any color that we want. The first step is to isolate the main subject so that the color doesn't change on the subject. There's a lot of ways in making selection in Photoshop. There are different ways to make a selection in Photoshop. One of the ways is clicking the quick selection tool and simply clicking and dragging over your subject to make selection. This is also one of the easy method but in this video we are not going to use the method. Instead we will be using a different method. So we will click Ctrl D to deselect our select. So to select the subject, we will go to select and click subject. By doing that, Photoshop will automatically detect the subject and select it. The selection will not be perfect but it is a great starting point and a time saver. Next, you can refine the selection with quick selection tool. Now we will zoom in and make our selection precise by adding or subtracting our selection using the quick selection tool. While making selection, if you need to subtract your selection, you can simply press Alt and a little minus sign will appear on the circle, which means you can subtract your selection like this. Again, you can press Alt to remove your selection. And once you leave Alt, you can again add to your selection. You can simply move around by clicking spacebar and dragging it. Like this you can move around your picture. After you are done with your selection, you can press the Q key on your keyboard to enter quick mask. With this mode, you can paint with the brush tool to add or subtract from the selection. So I will select the brush tool. Once you have done that, you can also decrease or increase your brush size by clicking the left bracket key or right bracket key on the keyboard. Once you have adjusted your brush size, you can zoom in and you can see as black is selected over here, if you paint, it will conceal the image but if you change the foreground color to white, your selection will be removed just like that. Just remember one thing, white will reveal and black will conceal. You just have to remember that much. And make your selection even more precise. And by the way, you can also click X on the keyboard, change the foreground colors from black to white and vice versa. When you are done, you can press the Q key again to bring the selection back. What I'll do now is refine the selection even further with the quick selection tool active and select and mask. Now, Go to view and choose black and white. Zoom into this area so that you can see that the mask is extremely zaggy. So I'm going to use the smooth slider and increase it a little bit to make it smooth. And after doing that, I'll click on OK. Now I'll double click on the hand to fit the image to the screen. Now I'm gonna go to fill and create a solid color layer. And this allows me to pick whatever color I want. For this, I want a blue type background. So I'll choose blue color. 
and I'll press OK. Notice that this blue is affecting my model and not the background. Well, I can fix that by clicking on the layer mask, pressing Ctrl I. When you press Ctrl I, it inverts the properties and now the blue is affecting the background and not my mode. The problem now is that we lost the shadows and we lost the floor. So let's bring those back by changing the blending mode to multiply. And notice how that brings the background back and the floor. And you can see that the floor shouldn't be blue. So we will use polygonal lasso tool and try to make the selection as good as possible. It will be no problem if we select a little bit too much. We can simply press Alt and deselect our selection. And just like that, you will select your background and then there are two ways you can remove the color from the floor. First way is go to edit, fill and choose black but we'll use the shortcut. We'll choose the brush tool and click X and make black our foreground color and we'll increase the size of our brush by clicking bracket keys on the keyboard and color over the floor. We have to remember the fact that black conceals and white reveals. And once you have done that, Ctrl D to deselect and see, we have successfully removed the color from the floor. Now you may be wondering why I used a solid color layer instead of a hue and saturation adjustment. Well, the reason is the hue and saturation adjustment layer only gives me one slider to control the brightness of the image. And I'm going to show you an advanced technique that gives you five control points for the brightness. But before I do that, I want to show you that you can double click on the fill layer and then you can adjust the color. You can also change the color for whatever your like is. But since I'll be choosing a blue color, this seems to be good. I'll click on OK. So what you want to do is create a group and I'm going to call this group color chain and I'm going to drag this color fill one to the group and I want the color change layer to have the same layer mask that this color fill has. So I'm going to click and drag it and drop it to the group. And now you can notice that color fill no longer has a layer mask, but the color change group does. And that's what I want. What I'll do now is create labels adjustment layer and click the color fill layer above the level. Then I'll choose levels. I'll choose right click and delete layer mask. And the reason I did this is to show you that you can control the brightness of this image using these five points. Now you have total control of how you can adjust the brightness, the shadow and everything. You have complete control over your image that's why I think this technique is much better so for example if you wanted dark darker shadows you can click and drag this point where you like the most and just like that you have changed the color of a background in Photoshop now if you enjoyed the tutorial and you think that this will help you in your creative projects then I'd like to ask you for two quick favors first please click on like button and second, click on the subscribe button and help support the channel. Thank you.